Hey, what's up everybody? David Wood here for DavidWoodFX.blogspot.com with another GIMP tutorial for you. And in today's tutorial we will be taking a look at creating this cool signature here. Um, not necessarily the entire signature, but the background effect that you can see in these two examples. Um, pretty abstract, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing of all, we are going to need to get the correct brushes and some other effects for it. So here I have some abstract brushes courtesy of brushnet.com and I'll have a link for that. They were designed by Megatron FX. So you want to say thank you to him or her, I'm not sure. But it's uh, six brushes made in Cinema 4D. They're pretty sweet. They are actually Photoshop brushes, but Photoshop brushes do work with GIMP. Um, since 2.4 I think and also you're going to need um, the FX Foundry plugins for GIMP which I'll have a link up for that download those it's in a zip folder and uh, put that in your script folder after you unzip it of course and uh, so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to create a new signature sized image. So 400 by 150 should work fine. Oh yeah, reverse the basic colors. So white is foreground, black is uh, background. Make sure it's black and then you want to paint with white. And these brushes are pretty cool. Uh, basically all you have to do is go in here and just randomly select a brush and click and paint you don't want a stroke, you just want single effects just like that and using just these six brushes adjusting their size you can get some very very creative and crazy results and it'll always be unique unless you want to remember all the steps but that would be kind of pointless so uh, just like that, just fill it in here and there, or fill it in everywhere. Sorry, I'm becoming Dr. Seuss. Okay, so there we have it. We need to take the levels and take the white slider and push that up so we get some bright highlights in there. And then we can just take the gray slider and push that down a little bit, just like that. And then we are going to go to our gradients and go down to incandescent and then we go to colors map gradient map and so as you can see that gives us a cool result um, just let me add a few more highlights over in this corner Uh, just like that should work fine. Okay, there we go. And as you can see using those six brushes and gradient mapping, we come up with a very cool result. It kind of looks, uh, depending on how many times you've put the brush on there, but if you've just put it like once or twice, it kind of looks like the brush has been turned to metal and it's near a fire so it's reflecting the light off of it as you can see in these spots uh, pretty cool effect um, now we will add our render character and I have let's see here I have Shadow the Hedgehog which I've already rendered out and we'll just position him in here like so so right about there should look pretty cool and we want to go into the levels and we can fool around with these if you've got some presets in there anyway you just want to take the white push that over and bring the gray one down a little bit just to darken him up but keep some of the white um, actually that's just bring that down doesn't really make a difference just darken it up and then we have to go to 
FX Foundry, Layer Effects, Inner Glow. And in here, we are going to take the layer mode and set it to overlay, opacity to 100%, and the color, we want to saturate that and maybe give it a little bit more orange. Just like that, we can increase the radius and hit OK. <clears throat> so it made the effect. It's not too visible on this side of them, but you can see it around the hand if I turn this on and off. And what you want to do is simply duplicate that layer. You can duplicate it as many times as you want. Um, I'll just set it to 3 and take the top one and bring down the opacity. Just like that. So it gives us the effect that the render behind him or the brushes are casting light so it's coming around the edges just like that and then for the text um, just type in the text and I am using SF Fedora titles it's the Indiana Jones font but big deal we'll just take the gradient tool for that make sure you lock the layer transparency and stroke down just like that and then layer to image size and then set the blend mode to add just like that so there you have it it's pretty simple pretty cool effect uh... what you could do is create another inner glow oh wrong one and increase the radius to something higher. Let me just show you. Oh, it's this one. Okay. There we have it. And we can just apply the layer mask. And then take this and go alpha to selection. Duplicate the background right click choose add alpha channel we want to move that above our signature right click choose add layer mask uh... based on the selection should work fine and select none so there we have it we can see it's around him okay kind of erased him like that we're going to set the blend mode of this to lighten only and while that's still too much, if you have just the right setup, that can make it look kind of like he's blending with the background. Uh, we can get rid of that. Okay. So that's it for this brief tutorial. For the Wally one, all I did was just take the incandescent gradient, duplicated it, and changed the colors to blue which you can see here and then also the inner glow was blues but that is all there is to it so as I said it creates a pretty cool effect without too much work so uh, this is David Wood, David Wood FX hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time